2014 will be the first year in which consumption of farmed fish exceeds that of wild fish. I'm joined today by Emiko Terrazono, online commodities editor at the FT. Emiko, what explains the great growth of this industry? Rob, in developed countries, there's been a huge move towards healthy eating. Mm. And um, on the other hand, you've got emerging markets where incomes, middle class incomes have been grow growing quite rapidly. And what happens then? People want to eat meat and fish. Mm. That's behind the huge growth. Right, but why, why does fish have things to recommend that, that beef or pork or chicken just does not? If you look at this chart, the feed conversion ratio for beef mm. and, uh, is very high. So to produce a, one pound of beef, you, mm. have to, you have to feed it more than eight pounds of, of, of feed. Whereas on the other hand of the scale, you've got salmon, where the ratio is 1.2 feed to it's one a, pound of, of it's, fish. It's an amazing difference. What explains that? Well, um, salmon right. is a cold-blooded animal, and it swims in the ocean where there's no gravity. So right. you're using less, or the fish are using less energy to produce protein or flesh or meat or whatever you call it. Mm. So let's talk about some of the challenges the industry is facing now that it's really getting up to scale. Mm -hmm. Cost cost and disease. Mm. Let's start with cost. Okay. It good, looks pretty good for good the industry. Yeah, right, yeah. right. You know, from 90 to uh, 150 in 10 years, a little over a decade. Yeah, so prices have, have, have surged, but um, apart from high demand, mm. there's been the issue of increasing feed costs. Um, the feed is actually made of fish meal and mm. fish meal costs have surged because of climate change. Mm and also the, the rise of fish farming. Right. So warm water uh, means less fish. That's right. So the main supplies of um, anchovies, mm. which um, are the main source of uh, fish meal, uh, mainly caught off Peru and Chile, well, let's, the coast of Peru and Chile. Let's talk about uh, disease then. What are the sort of environmental challenges to raising fish at scale? Um, so high intensity farming has, has led to various outbreaks of, of um, diseases like early mortality syndrome, mm. which has recently hit the, the Thai coast and other Southeast Asian countries. And the Chilean farming, salmon farming industry has also been hit by uh, an anemic, anemic um, a virus as well. I see. So more expensive fish food, high intensity farming, meaning higher levels of disease. What's the industry response? I think you have to remember that the industry is a very, still a very young one compared mm. to um, animal livestock breeding, which has gone on for thousands and thousands of years. Right. There is a lot of R&D money going into fish farming now. Mm. Marine Harvest, for instance, which is the largest salmon producer, has 80 projects um, looking into disease. Mm. I think there's a massive push towards um, best practice um, fish farming as well, and there are various certification programs. So it's early days, it's early stages, um, but there's progress being made. Thanks, Semiko. The era of high growth with low costs in fish farming is over.